नमस्कार हेलो एन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू सीआईई टीएनसीआरटीज लाइव फोन एंड इंटरैक्टिव प्रोग्राम माय नेम इज तन्वी खुराना एंड इन दिस मैथ्स क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द टॉपिक ट्रायंगल्स एंड दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द सेम टॉपिक इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन द फर्स्ट पार्ट आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज वॉच इट ऑन आवर यूट्यूब चैनल व्हिच इज एनसीईआरटी ऑफिशियल इट्स ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड ओवर देयर एंड बिकॉज़ बोथ दीस चैप्टर्स बोथ दीस सेशंस आर कनेक्टेड सो आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू वॉच इट टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस टॉपिक बेटर keep your pencils and paper ready and uh, we'll be solving a few questions queries and uh, if you have any problem which you are unable to solve and you want our expert to solve then please call us on our number 8800440559 with all your queries we have an expert with us let me introduce her to all of you she is mrs beena prakash welcome ma'am namaskar Ma'am is from senior uh, PGT Mathematics from Campion School, Bhopal. And like Hello? I said, if you have any questions, queries, then you can even email us, and the email ID would be dth dot class nine at the rate cit dot nic dot in. You're watching us live on PM E Vidya channel number nine. Let's begin this conversation on triangles part two. But before beginning the second part of this topic, let's just uh, have a recap of what we understood in the first part of this topic, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Dandi. Now, in the last class, at the first part, we discussed about the congruence. Now, what exactly is congruence? Congruence means when one figure is kept over the other, the two figures should coincide. That means it should overlap. Every aspect of the first figure should be same as that of the second figure. So that's what we have as a definition for congruence. So we are actually discussing the congruence of triangles. So in triangles, what are the elements? The elements are the sides and the three angles. We have three sides and three angles. So if in two triangles, the three sides of one triangle and the three sides of the other triangle, they are corresponding sides that is we need to find out which side corresponds to which side that sides are equal and also the corresponding angles are equal the triangles are said to be congruent that is one triangle will be kept over the other it will overlap so all the sides the three sides of the two triangles three angles of the two triangles they will always be equal now the question is how do we get the congruence of the triangles how do we prove that the given information says that the triangles will be congruent so what we have is we have certain rules the first one is an axiom that is sas congruence rule which says that if you have in two triangles in two triangles if two sides and an included angle of one triangle there are two sides one is this side and this is another side the angle between the two sides is this angle that is the measure angle d if you can identify for the other triangle a similar situation that is if the two sides this is one side and this is other side the angle between them if they are given equal then we say that the two triangles are congruent so in this case we find that the side bd is corresponding to side cao that is side bd and ao are equal likewise the side cd corresponds to side cod that means they are equal also the measure of angle d and the measure of angle o they are equal so in this triangle a b c d in this triangle b c d we find that two sides these are the two sides and the angle which is between them is equal to the sides of the triangle aod which sides ao od and angle o the angle included between them they are equal then we say that the two triangles are congruent so after this relation what we find is once we have this information we find that the triangle b d e o sorry this is b d c for this it is b d c the tri in triangle bdc we find that bd corresponds to od and dc dc corresponds to dc corresponds to oa 
so we have the other triangle as a o d so this is the second triangle which has its corresponding sides equal to the sides of the triangle bd so the two triangles elements will be same the elements means all the six elements that is first we start with side bd the side bd will be equal to side ao that is already given that is equal to ao that is already given then we have the next side of the same triangle bdc i look at the second side that is dc that is equal to od which is also given and from here we find that we get the result that is the third side bc will also be equal to the third side of the second triangle that is ad likewise here it is mentioned that angle bdc is equal to angle aod that's given now from here we find that the remaining two angles what are the remaining two angles for this triangle dbc i'm taking at angle d b c so what will be the angle which corresponds to b for the triangle ab aod in triangle bdc the angle b corresponds to an angle for the triangle aod which angle will be that look at this part it is from d to b and then c so likewise look for this it is o to a to t so it will be this angle look at the position of b in this triangle it's first what does it correspond to it corresponds to a that means it will be the angle o a d the third angle which is the third angle of this it is d c b this will be equal to the third angle of it that is o d a that means all the six elements we got it equal so that's what the resultant of the congruence is so if you can find out if in two triangles two sides and an angle between them equal the two triangles will be congruent and we can write this result or based on this congruence is that clear so so today i'll start with the next phase part we discussed Uh, some part of this part was discussed in the last class. Now I will take up the question based on it. Now the question is a question from the textbook only. What it says is AB is a line segment. L is its perpendicular bisector. L means a line which is a perpendicular bisector. Now what is the information that you have regarding this perpendicular bisector? There are two information. One is perpendicular. Perpendicular means the angle the line makes with line L makes with AB is 90 degrees. that is the measure of this angle is 90 degree fine and then it's a bisector bisector says that it divides ab into two equal parts so let me name this point of intersection as o let the point of intersection be o so what information do we have from this from this statement that is angle let me have this as a point it's a point p so information that you have is p o a is equal to angle pob that's given this is given to us and also ao equal to ob this is also given to us now the question is if a point p at okay this is a point p that is already there so i'll take this as point q so let me make this as point q this is point p is a point on l show that p is equidistant from a and b let me see whether i have taken this point b no i did not so i can continue with this point b this is point p this is the point p i'll take this as point p so it's p o a equal to p o b now you have to prove that p is equidistant from a and b how do we write that statement p is equidistant from a and b that is to prove we have to prove that pa is equal to pb this is what you have to prove now how do we prove pa equal to pb we have learned the congruence of triangles but we don't see any triangle so how do we take up this we'll make a triangle here how do i make a triangle i'll join this p to a similarly i'll join p to b so what do i find now 
I am getting a triangle POA and triangle POP. So we have the two triangles. Now, with this information, we need to prove the congruence of the two triangle. Only then we will have this element PA equal to PB because P A and PB are the parts of the two congruent triangle. If so, P A and PB are the parts of the two triangles. So if you can prove the congruence of the triangle, then this will be proved automatically. So how do we prove the congruence? What have we studied? We have studied that two sides and an angle which is between them. An angle between them. If we get this condition, then we are through. So let us look at this. What information do we have? That is AO equal to OB. Now what I am trying to do is, I am trying to split this figure into two different triangles. See, this is how I am trying to take up. I am taking the same thing in this form. This is the triangles I am getting. I have split the two triangles, separated the two triangles. I will be labeling accordingly. That is, this still point remains as P. This is the point P. This is point O. This is point O. This point is P. This point is A. Is this figure clear? Can we, is it clear? I have split this triangle. I have taken it apart. I have separated it to see whether we are able to get the SAS congruence. So in this, what you do is put the information, the figure, using a representation. The side AO is equal to OA, OB given. That's fine. Also, the measure of this angle is 90 degree. That is also given. Now, what is that you need to look for? We have a side, we have an angle. What is that we have to look for? We have a side, we have an angle. We should be looking for the third element. What is that? The angle adjacent, that is side adjacent to it, that is the angle which contain, that is described here, should contain these two sides, AO and OB. So we are looking for the fact that the side OP and the side of OP of this triangle, they are equal. Will they be equal? Won't they be equal? Yes, then we, won't they be equal? <clears throat> no ma'am. Yes, so they are equal because they represent the same line segment, see? They are separated, but do they not represent the same line segment? They do. It's PO here. So how do we take up the proof? The proof of it is through this explanation. That is, we have in triangle AOP and triangle and triangle AOBOP. POP. POP. Write down the information with the reasons. What is the first information that we have? AO and OB are equal. Why are they equal? Because it is given. By sector, it's a given fact. Hmm. The second information that you have is angle AOP and angle BOP are equal. Why are they equal? Because they both have the same measure that is 90 degree because this is also given that it's a perpendicular. Hmm. L is perpendicular to, what is given? L is perpendicular to AB. So this information is giving us the information that the measure of the angle POP and BOP is 90 degree. Hmm. And the third information that you have is the side PO on the side PO. Both are the same thing. This is common for both the triangles. So obviously they will be equal. So what does that say? To say that triangle AOP is congruent to triangle BOP. So that is by the rule SAS. So this rule gives us the information that the remaining three elements will also be same. What are the three elements? The three elements are the two angles and the third side. So which is the third side? We are asked about the question which is about the third side. Mm -hmm. So this is regarding the third side. So can you conclude? What does it say? It says that we have this information that it says that P -A. it will implies that AP and PB are equal. So if this is true, then we have the relate that says that any point on any point P on the line AB, sorry, N the line L is equidistant, equidistant from the points A and B. This is one information that was asked in the question.
so any point on the perpendicular is a bisector of a line segment will always be equidistant from the two end points fine now we move on to the next that is that is is it only through sas we can prove the congruence no it is we have certain rules first the second rule that we have is asa now sas we have taken it as an axiom because we don't prove it now here asa is taken as theorem that is we are going to prove that if in two triangles the two angles the two angles any two angles of one triangle and any two angles of the other triangle if the any two angles of any other two triangles and the angle which is between the two the side between the two angles if they are equal that the triangles will also be equal so that's what we have to prove that with this given condition also the triangles congruence can be proved so how do we prove this particular theorem what do we have is we have we in what we take up is we have given angle b and angle q are equal angle c and an angle r are equal this angle measure angle b and this measure angle q they are equal the measure of angle c and angle r are equal and the side which is between the two angles that's bc for the first triangle qr for the second triangle they are equal then we need to prove that the triangles are congruent so how do we prove it how do we prove it this is triangle this is congruent to triangle pqr so to prove this what we take is we'll assume that we have some cases let, let us take a one case the first case is assuming that the length of ab and pq are same got it we are trying to prove using the previous axiom that is sas so what it says is if you can manage to get the two sides and an angle included between them same then the triangles are congruent so we assume that the side ab and pq are equal so if that is so let us take up the explanation ab the side ab and pq are equal the side bc and qr are equal and the angle between them they are also equal so don't we have this condition of congruence that is abc and pqr will be congruent so it is a congruent triangle now in case if we find that you have pq's measure less than ab then let us assume that the length of pq is less than ab then how do we prove that the triangles are congruent now look at this expression mark a point l on ab we are marking a point we have we have assumed that ab is longer than pq so obviously we will be marking a point l on ab such that the length of pq and bl are equal we are marking the point in such a way that the length bl and pq are equal so if that is the case then don't we have this triangle blc and pq are now for our construct this so we are considering triangle lbc let's consider triangle lbc's relation with triangle pqr how do we prove it lb the side lb and pq are equal why are they equal because of the construction now bc is already equal to qr it is already given that they are equal and also the angle between them that is angle b and angle q that is also given this is given to us this was given to us this we got it by construction so what information are we getting we have the two sides which two sides we are talking about <coughs> the side lb and the side pq they are equal one another side is equal and the angle between these two sides these two sides they are also equal so we to have the relation that is the triangle lbc and triangle pqr will be congruent by which rule the axiom asas so if that is so don't we have the remaining elements also same that is we can prove that the remaining elements are also true so what are the remaining elements that we have in this the uh, two sides the third side that is we have lc will be equal to pr as well as the remaining two angles so let me now concentrate on one angle 
So what information do we have? Is angle one and angle R are equal. Which is angle one? This one is angle one. This measures angle one. That is LCB measures angle one, and that is equal to PRQ because the triangles LCC and PQR they are congruent. So we can have the one angle one and angle R are corresponding angles. So their measures will always be equal. But what have we got? We have that angle two. The measure of angle two. Which angle is equal to angle R? What is this is given to us? No, isn't this given part? That is the measure of angle two and angle R are same. Which is measure? Uh, which is angle two? This is the angle two. That is it's formed from B C A. So we have this as a result that is given to us angle two equal to angle R. So when you compare these two statements from the axioms. We have Euclid's axioms. If two are equal to same, the twos are equal. So they are equal to each other. That means which says that angle one and angle two will be equal. So now let us concentrate on this angle one and angle two. What we find is angle one is formed from the arm BC. Angle one is formed from the arm BC with another arm that is LC. This is the arm LC. Fine. Okay. Now there is another angle AC. AC is formed from the angle BC with AC. We have this as AC. That's a, so. We have this is another angle. So this point is B. This point is C. This point is L, and that's A point. So angle one is this angle. Angle two is BAC. Now, what information did we get from here? The measure of the two angles are equal. Which two angles? Angle one, angle one, and angle two are equal. Now, look at this particular angles one and two. How are they formed? They are formed from the common arm. There is one common arm that is BC. BC is the arm which is common to both the angles, and the two uncommon arms are on the same side of BC. Isn't the AL? LC and AC on the same side of BC. They are on the same side of BC. And if you have the angles formed by such situation, that is, the uncommon arms with the common arms makes equal angles. They are making equal angles. They say that it will happen only when they coincide. So what should coincide? That is, LC coincides with LC coincides with AC. If LC coincides with AC, so where will the position of this LC be? What do you think the position of LC be? Yes, if LC coincides with L, what do you have as? What do you find if LC coincides with? Don't you find that LC is nothing but AC? Yes, LC. Yes, Have you understood this part? I have rotated. I have shifted the position of LC to AC. Yeah. So what do you find in that? That they are the that same. That is the length LB and A. The length LB and AC. The length that we had discussed as LB. What do we get from here? We find that the length LB will be equal to that of L. A C isn't it? L M coincides with A C, so that means this says that L B and B A they are same. They are of the same length because now L C has been shifted to L A C. So the length L B is nothing but B A. Okay. Hence, what we get from here A B and B Q are same. Okay. So again, the same way we have the two sides, adjacent sides, two sides A B and B Q are same. And then BC is already equal to QR given, and the angle between them, that is angle B and angle Q, that is equal given. So don't we have the congruence through SAS? So what it says is, if two triangles have two angles equal and the side included between them equal, the triangles can still be congruent. Okay. So this is the All case. Right. Ma'am, we don't Now have. Now we can have the case three the other way. That is, you can take the length of PQ less than that of PAB. 
sorry ab length of le- less than that of pq okay in way you can uh, ma'am we don't have any more time left so could you please wrap up the explanation i'll just find up with the statement last part here okay see we have a corollary what is this corollary it's the result that we can take up from the above theorem the above theorem says that you have the congruence of the triangle with a s a now what is this corollary it says that two triangles are still congruent if any two pairs it's not necessary the two particular pairs it has to be any two pairs and one pair of sides are corresponding sides are equal like it's measured that these two angles are equal and the third this is angle equal to this the third side the side is not between the two angles as is said in asa side has to be between two angles no it is any two angles on the third side if you get the information that in two triangles the two angles the two corresponding angles and the third sides are equal the triangles will still be congruent how will it be congruent we all know that the third side of the triangle how do you measure the third side of the triangle the third side is the, the 180 minus angle what will measure of angle ab it will be 180 minus angle b plus angle c so if it is 180 minus angle b plus c what is angle b equal to we have it as angle q and what is angle c equal to angle r so what is this result we are now into triangle pqr so this is giving us a relation for a tr- angle of triangle pqr so what is the part right. you are getting from here it's not to put the measure of angle p okay so all right have two um. angles equal so don't we have that result a s a so it's enough to prove any two angles with the third side p yes right? yes ma'am so we'll continue the same in the next part maybe thank you so much for explaining the concept of triangles thank you ma'am thank you thank you thank you to all the viewers for watching this session if there are any more doubts still left you can always call us on the number 8800440559 we're wrapping up this maths class here but stay here don't go anywhere we're coming back after a short while with the topic mental health and cyber tools so to understand how these two are related please watch our cyber safety and security webinar series which we are going to begin in a short while stay here don't go anywhere thank you once again namaskar